today we are going to do an activity that's going to help us become better readers. So what we're going to do is when we're reading and sometimes we see a word and we don't know how to pronounce it, we're going to use some strategies and the strategy we're going to use today is working with letters that make the A sound. Okay, so when we see an A in a word, we know that it could make a lot of different sounds, right? It could make the A sound, like in bat. It could make the A ah sound, like in fall, right? Or when we see an A, it could make an A sound, like in play or day, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to make some words that are all going to make the long A sound, which is the A. So we're going to split these up, and I'm going to show you what it's going to look like. So these are all our beginning letters of the words. These are consonants. You know what consonants are? Mm. Letters that are not vowels. So the vowels are A. Can you name them with me? E. e I. O. U. U. So any letter that's not a vowel is a consonant. And sometimes a Y. And sometimes Y. Good job, Brian. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the beginning letters, these are all consonants, we're going to put them together with the vowel sound A. So I'm going to try one for you. And as I'm putting together, I'm going to be thinking if this really makes sense, if this is a real word. Does it look right? Does it sound right? So when we're making them, we're not just going to read them, we're going to say them out loud to ourselves. So let's try this first one. We have S L SL. Slail. Is that a word? No. I don't think that sounds like a real word, is it? So I'm just going to separate them and we're going to move on to another word. So let's try this one. Ace. Face. <gasps> That's a word, isn't it? Yeah. Right? So we're going to put this off to the side. Actually, let's open up our notebooks. To where? To, let's see, what do you have here? Lista de palabras. Right here. Over here? Mm hmm. These are the palabras. There we go. And we're going to start. We're just going to write down all the real words that we have made, okay? So we can go ahead and write down our first one. Let's write at the top of our page the date. Jusani, can you write the date? What is today? A new page. Mm -hmm. It's 10. 17. Today is the 17th of October. Awesome. Okay. And so, and then, yeah, so let's write down. Thanks. And now we're going to split these up, and you guys are going to keep going and making your own words. So remember, each word has to have one of these, and then it has to have one of these. So now that we wrote down face, we can put that back. No. What are we going to do if it doesn't make sense? Oh, we're going to uh, take a part and put it. Mm -hmm. Or we can just put it back into the pile. Yeah. Right. Can you reach them over there, Nicole? Okay. Yeah. All right. So everyone can try and make their own word. Strace. So can you say that out loud? Strace. Does that sound right? No. Yeah. Hmm. So this word, these letters, E-I-G-H, that's going to make the A sound. Like, let's see. Here, let's find one. Is this came? <laughs> mm hmm came. Is that a real word? No. no. Twain. That doesn't sound right either. Mix them up. Mix them up. Yeah, so let's try and keep them set. So let's try this one, Nicole. Oh, wait. Does that have a T at the end of it? No. This one here. Let's try this one. So when we see E-I-G-H-T, that's a lot of letters, isn't it? But that makes the eight sound. And freight. Have you heard that word before? That is actually a real word. It's a, like a big train. So when we see... Let's all write this down together because Nicole and I just made a great discovery. E... F. Okay, so let's try F R E I G H T. Free. And what I want you to do is I want you to underline the part of the word that makes the A sound. So in this one, we're going to be underlining the E I G H T. That's a lot of letters for one sound. The E I G H T. Underline, right? Did you underline that? 
So underline the E I G H T. That's the sound that makes the A sound. So now we'll know when we're reading. Next time we see these words and maybe a different word in front of it, or some different letters, it makes the H sound. Can you all say that word with me? H. And then let's put, say the whole word that we just wrote down. Great. All right, let's make another one. You're going to mess up because if it goes like that, it's going to go like that. Trade. So you're going to know that. Yeah. Trade. That's an awesome word, Nicole. Good job. Write that one down. Vate. Whale. Yes. That sounds like a familiar word, doesn't it? And then this is where it gets tricky because you're thinking of the animal whale, whale. right? But that's actually a different way that we would spell whale. I don't think that it's in here right now. Oh, wait, you're right. We can spell it like this. This way, though, that's not the animal. Have you ever heard of someone who's wailing? Like they're crying and yeah. they're screaming. Mm -hmm. You can say, Jislyn was wailing last night. Mm -hmm. So remember to underline the part that makes the A sound. So it's yeah. going to be mm -hmm. A I L. A I L. That, oh, right? So because when we read it, we see W A L. And that's what makes the A sound. All right, Brian, what have you come up with? Brain. Hmm. Almost. Brain. If we took that letter off, that would be Brain. a real word, right? So maybe we could try and find an A-I-N around here. What do you think? Do you see it? Yes, I see it. All right, so. Brain. Brain. And do we hear the long A sound in that? Brain. A-A-A. All right, so go ahead and write that one down. Brain. What else do you have, Gislani? Brain. Does that look right? Sky. <laughs> hmm. Does that sound like a real word? No. All right, so let's keep going. Hey, don't, don't. Yeah. Okay, Nicole, what else have you got? Let me just be stuck with Say that out loud for me. Link. Flake. 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 Does that sound like a word you've heard before? Like a snow flake. <gasps> there we go. So now we know that A K E makes the A sound, right? Right. So let's write that one down and underline. Does that sound right? Actually, it's called word. What is that word? Oh, that's upside down. That's supposed to be a P L. Oh, there we go. <laughs> It's this one. Um, so remember, the ones right here, that's the beginning. Ain. So what can we put in front of ain? Let's all try and make one more ain. word. Ain. Is that a word, Gislandy? There. Is that a word there? Remember, we want to... <gasps> Great, Nicole. Let's write that one down. Uh, you can mix the thing up if we have four. Well, this is why we wrote yeah. the beginnings are on this side. The Red. end is on this side, right? What do they say here? So let's try. What do they say? Right. Is that a word, Nicole? Or G <laughs> All right, I want you to try and find one yeah, word yeah, for yeah. me. Yeah. So let's. You can either start with the beginning of a word. You can start with a P, and then maybe try and find another word that. That one doesn't sound right, does it? But we're looking for words that make the A sound, right? Oh, like that whole sound. Mm -hmm. like eight. And eight. I spell pie. Is that pie or what is that? That is a word, just Lenny. Pie. Can you say that out loud? Pie. Pay, because when we see the A Y, I'll do that, one. that makes the A. Yes, let's all write that one down. And so, what are you going to underline that makes the A Y sound? A Y. The A, or that makes the A sound. The A Y, right, Brian? Can you underline that part of the word, Nicole? Snake. Did you underline it? Okay, so we don't want to underline the whole word, right? We just want to underline the part that makes the A sound. All right, so. Wow, we've got some awesome words. 
let's go through all of the endings. Let's focus on the endings now. So I'm going to hold these up to you, and I want you to say them out loud to me. And when you're think, what's the what are we working on this lesson? A. Words that make a sound. So when you see these three letters, you're going to read it thinking about making an a sound, right? So let's do. What is that one? A. 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 Mhm. Mm what about this one? A. 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 And that one? A. <gasps> they're both A, aren't they? But they're spelled different ways. That yeah. one is spelled A M E. That one is spelled A I M. Just it would just it would change this mm -hmm. one and that I and that I to an e. But what did we just learn? That it has an A. That they both make the same sound even though they're spelled a different way. Yeah. So now we know that there's a lot of different ways that you can spell words with the A sound. Yeah. What about this one? Can you read that, G Slenny? A. A. So when we see an A and a Y together in a word, a. we know that it's, re it's read A. No. What about this one? Right, because in Spanish that would be I, wouldn't it? So in English it's I A. a. What about A? <laughs> That's right, she's Lenny. Ooh, all right. Are you ready for a harder one? This one's got a little bit more letters. What about that one? Ain't. 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 To the paint. Like paint. Great Ain't connection, paint. Brian. What about that one? A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A it will be A A It would. But right here we see A V E. Paint. Paint. Look at that, Brian. Yeah, awesome. Can we write it down? All right. Let's. Yeah. Do you want to write paint down? That was a good one that we just made. There we go. Paint. Let's write that one down. And what are we gonna underline that makes the A sound? A I N T. Awesome, Brian. Whoa, baby. <laughs> Okay, so let's try and make one more. Let's put. No, you want to do that one? All right. Ain. Ain. What can we put in front of that? <gasps> I think Nicole's found something. Rain. 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 So let's all say that one. Rain. 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 So now we know that A I N makes the Ain sound. Let's write that one down. Oh, don't, don't say that word. Can I say? Mm -hmm. You need to. Which, one, which part are we going to line line? Which A I. E N A I N. Great, Brian. A what? What part are we gonna underline that makes the A N sound? A I N. All right. Did you get it written down, Nicole? Yeah. Really. All right. How about one more, and then we'll be all done, and you can go in and get some snack. Let's do a little bit of a harder one. Face. 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 Well, now that you guys are saying face, I'm not gonna do that one because you already know. Let's do, yeah. let's do this Slay. one. Slay. What does that one say? Um, a and B. What, and what noise is that going to make? And this, and this. <laughs> Can you read that for me, Nick? Do you say A. A. What noise is, oh, or what wait. sound does that make? Um, a. A. And what sound does that make? Hold on, Nicole. A. What does that make? A. 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 And what does that make? A. A. So that's kind of like what we discovered up here. A, A I N A. and A N E. They both make the same train. sound. Train. Can we write train? Train. So let's write train. And what could we put right here to make a word? What letter could we put in front of that? Um. This one's a little bit of a trickier one. What do you see? Oh, you see oh, any? Plain. Plain. So let's write train and plane. But what is that? The plane. Plane. It's a plane. 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 You have to it's underline plane, a like a plane that flies, oh, right? Yeah. I win one of this. Underline. All right. Sounds like everyone's done with word work inside, so let's close our notebooks. So from now on, while we're reading, we're going to be looking for the ending of words and thinking about what we learned today of how we want to pronounce them both in our heads and as we're reading out loud, okay? You all did awesome today. Thank you so much. You can go eat your snack right now. Miss Lauren will let you eat the rest of your snack very quickly. Thank you.